Hey everyone, what's up? This morning I've updated Prospero's landing page in order to try to improve its conversion rate. And so I wanted to share with you the process, how I did this, why I did this, and what I'm trying to achieve. So let's go straight into it. So this is our landing page. Basically, um, we've had this for a few months now and it's been converting pretty solidly at around 15%. So 50%, 15% of the people who get to this landing page uh, convert into sign up. Sign ups are free, so there's not a lot of friction. And 15% is, I would say, it's a solid number. It's not very bad. Um, I have a lot of content on this landing page, but my goal today was try to change the hero section because most people, as you know, spend zero to 15 seconds on a website. And so if your headline and your, your core hero section of your landing page doesn't perform super well, that's probably where you should spend like 80% of your effort. Most people don't even scroll. So my goal was to spend around one hour to improve that. So here's what I did and why I did this. So basically this is what we have right now, some kind of a basic image of a freelancer maybe with kind of the types of freelancers, a headline and a button. So here is the new design. What I did is few things. First of all, I've changed the title from professional freelance proposals in minutes to professional proposals three times faster. Now, the reason for this title is I've read some of the tips of Ogilvy, the, the master of advertising, and one of his key tips on uh, titles that and headlines is that they should be super super specific so not just generally uh, how your product is better but exactly how much it's better and so from research from seeing how people are using prospero i know that it helps people to do proposals three times faster and i know that the key benefit for them is that it's so fast and that they look professional and they look really good and so i've changed the title to be very very specific as to what is the benefit of prospero second thing i did here Obviously, I've uh, added a video here because a lot of people don't like reading. They just want to see how this works. And so I've recorded a short video. I don't know how this will perform. It's a quick demo so you can really see how the process of working with Prospero is. Hope this will be uh, a good impact as well. I've added a little uh, subtitle here, no credit card required under the start for free to make sure that people understand that there's no friction in trying, try to reduce kind of the fear of, I don't really wanna try this right now. And the last thing, and maybe the most important, I've brought here to above the fold some uh, social proof. So showing people that other people are using our product successfully. So a testimonial, I've brought here a testimonial from Bobiet, one of our favorite customers. And uh, we've put here that we got five stars on Product Hunt and number two product of the day with a link to us on Product Hunt. So this is to show again that we have some success. We've got some feedback from the market, make you feel reassured that the product is good. We do have testimonials down below here, but as I've said, most people will never get to this point. And so trying to bring the social proof above the fold is something that I hope will help increase conversion rate. Now, honestly, I, I don't, I'm not in love with this design. I think this is much more beautiful and impressive, but I think that because of the specific things I told you, I have a feeling that this new design might perform better. I'm aiming for at least 50% increase in conversion rate. So that will bring conversion rate from 15 to at least 20. If it's lower than 50%, that's going to be really hard to measure and it's not going to make a huge impact on our business. So I'm looking to do, you know, great impact. And so that's why I was focusing most of my effort on the hero section. There are other things on this landing page that will need the can use improvements and I hope to get to them later on this week. But as Ogilvy said, you should be spending 80% on a dollar on the headlines because this is where people at. So in the context of web design, it's headlines, but it's also the hero section. This is the first thing people will see. 80% of people will only see this. So make your focuses on there. I'll keep you updated on how the performance is going. And uh, yeah, obviously I, I've rebuilt this in, in Webflow, and so it took me about 30, 30, 40 minutes to do all the redesign. It was pretty simple. And 
again, we're not gonna do a proper A-B testing because I feel like I've changed too many things here. When you're doing A-B testing, you should only change one parameter. But I've been tracking the conversion daily and I know that it's on around 15%. So I wanna see this move to at least 20% to know this was a success. All right, hope you're having a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,